Karate, like any other martial art, should be used in self-defense only. And only if you've done everything you can to resolve it without fighting. We'll start with some basic self-defense technique moves. Okay, these are moves which you can use if you find yourself in danger and have no way to escape. Okay, the first move is called three pushes, okay? And three pushes works just like this. Okay, what you're gonna do is nice and easy. You're gonna go block one, block two, and you're gonna do what's called a palm heel. And a palm heel uses this part of the arm right here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go one, two, just like that. And this is called a natural stance. It's how you stand, just natural. Okay. So hey, 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 good, good, good. Okay? It kind of works for if somebody reaches out to grab you, okay? Like they grab, okay? Maybe here like this, all right? So from here, there's a few different things we can do from here, all right? But one of the things that I like to do is I just like to bring the hands to the inside here like this, okay? When I bring the hands to the inside, it clears him, okay? And then from here, I can grab the head and I can pull him in, control him from here, all right? When I have him in tight like this, he can't do anything for me, all right? So, all right? So this is gonna work from when he, he's gonna grab a hold of me like this, okay? When he grabs a hold of me, all right, it's gonna be it's gonna be because he's gonna try to pull me in. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring my hands where I'm looking at my palms, okay? And then what I wanna do is bring them in front of my face, turn them, and push them away. One hand behind the head, one hand grabs the arm around the back of the elbow, and pull them away. Okay? Yeah, exactly, okay? So, he grabs me, block, catch him, okay? And we'll do it slow. So one more. Here's rule number one, where the head goes, the body follows. Even with a taller guy, if you get in under the chin, you push him here, I just took all of your strength away from you. You can swing at me all day, you're not going to hurt me. You know, and even if I want to check, if you come up with something like that, go ahead. You know, wherever I want to work. But, move the head, and take the power. Position. So if I had a great big head of hair. Alright, so I've got a couple options. One of the first things I'm going to want to do, is I want to trap this hand. I want to own your hand, and then I can work the separation. But even if all I can do is just hold it here, I've at least secured one of your hands. I, was, I, I can check knees, elbow, side, groin, up, I mean, and just pop it. I need to understand what hand it is. I don't know where you are. So now, but even without looking, if I have this hand, I have some idea of your proximity. And from here, I want to get low, because now I'm stronger, better base, and then all I need to do is get one eye on it. 
And from here, I know I have a better idea of where to strike, which side I want to rotate through, however I want to go. Step out and rotate the other way. If you look at body language, you can understand proximity and strength. So put your hands back in the door. So if you've got somebody here that you're afraid someone's going to pull aside, you can check it. Check it to them. You control the wrist. First thing you do is you check it against them here, and then from here, through. I mean, if you think it's a lethal moment, it's a check, control the weapon. But anytime you check somebody, if I'm checking you here, I'm moving to the weak side, I can pick the ankles, the slide, the head rotor. I mean, there's a million different directions to move. But I don't want to check and then move over here. Because now I just walked into other issues. Whereas if I come over here and use that other hand, go ahead. I can work. I can work one side or the other, but you've got to come across your body, which is weak. There, there's a lot to go through. There's a lot of possibilities. There's no death. And I love guys that are like, oh, stomp, shin raid, tickle his thigh, pinch this. You do it every over here, hit fast, break joints. So there's there's no death. Rate. There's a million ways to go about it. You just have to be comfortable with what works for you, and that's why I tell everybody study as many different arts as possible. Because what works for me, what works for you, what works for her, it's going to be different for everybody. Um, Michael Rom Ramos Beliz uh, asked the question, what's the best form of martial arts for self-defense in a real life setting as being attacked on the street? Um, I'm going to tell you that there is no one best. Uh, probably not even any two or three best. So my general answer is to tell you or anybody else to study as many different arts as you can. Take from each of those arts what works the best for you and make your own toolbox. As for some particular martial arts you might look at for a street engagement, um, I like Kenpo. Uh, that's one of my preferences. Rapid hands, multiple strikes. Uh, most of the time you're keeping both your feet on the ground. So um, I like Kenpo, um, another martial art called Krav Maga. It is a true combat martial art. It is brutal. Um, and now I tell you that, saying, you know, hey, you know what, go for it, learn it, but be careful, man. You can't just go killing people on the street. So like anything, it takes discipline and control.